Well, I think the sounds that I that I liked are recapitulations of sounds that I heard early on. Mm. Um, I think that the South African music sounded a lot to me like sounds that I recognized when I was young, and um, and that is actually turns out to be true if you talk to the South African musicians who were listening to what I was listening to. So they were influenced, you know, uh, by that. Uh, but the, of course, they're also influenced by, uh, you know, by tribal uh, music and, uh, and and other things. But uh, the th- th- a lot of the sounds and rhythms that I that I use and that I fell in love with um, are from very early on. And some of it, I think, some of those sounds, I think, are really actually like uh, in the DNA. I don't think they're just mine. It's like, I, I mean, uh, this sound. Those fourths, that interval of fourths, that's in a lot of different cultures. A lot of different musics have that, that the drone has that in Indian music. It's in Celtic music. It's in, uh, it's in a lot of different cultures. There must be something about that interval that, uh, same with this. The fifth also. Those sounds are, we, we hear them, we love them, you know? Uh, it's, uh, uh, on the other hand, you, you don't, you know, uh, this interval. People don't go to it. To, uh, no, sorry, here it is. Sharp fourth, the flatted fifth. Um, that's, uh, you know, that's an interval that, that people find disturbing, or they, they used to find disturbing. Anyway, uh, what I what I what I think is is that there are certain sounds that are really deeply ingrained in us, and we love them. And when we find them, when I find them, uh, I always go to them. I'll use them again and again and again. They're, I'm always putting the sound of a vocal group. A certain vocal group sound, it's in all my records. It's usually me singing with myself uh, and making, making the sound. And it's, it's the sound of, uh, you hear it on gospel quartets. You can hear it on, uh, in early rock and roll, like background groups like uh, the Crickets. Uh, there was a guy named Jack Scott who had a background group that was incredible. It's a, it's a very prominent bass. It's a falsetto and there's a tenor in there. And something about that sound, I, I love that sound. And I use it all the time. That sound has gone away. I never hear it in pop music anymore. And I guess you could say it's a dated sound, but as far as I'm concerned, it's just, that's one of my sounds. I'll never leave it. I don't care whether it's, I don't think about dated or anything like that. Uh, and uh, there are certain things that are very powerful emotionally. If you can find those sounds that are powerful emotionally, then if you have something to say, the listener is open. They're, they're drawn emotionally to the sound. Now they will listen to words, and if there's something that, that's important that you have to say, they can absorb it. If you make a sound that they don't like, even if you have a words that they like, they won't listen. People won't listen to a sound they don't like. They won't listen to a rhythm they don't like. Americans really like 4-4. That's, that's, the, that's the main rhythm of, of American music. If you move, you could go into 3-4-2, but if you start to go into 6-8, people start to drop out. If you move into other, other time signatures, 5-4, 9-8, 7-8, and less people do it. And you can, I can see them as they're, I can see people listening as they tap their foot in a time signature that isn't a familiar time signature, and in a little while, they stop tapping their foot. Because <laughs> they don't know where they are. And if they don't know where they are, the idea of having a conversation with them is out of the question. They don't know where they are, you know? Their main thought is, whether it's conscious or not, I think their main thought is, 
I have no idea where I am. <laughs> They're not listening to what you have to say. They're wondering what the hell is going on with their foot, which can't find one. Now, we know where we are, up, oh, and we are near the end of our hour. Good. And, oh. <laughs> and, and gosh, you have the guitar right in your hand, too. Anyway, no, I guess most of this doesn't have much to do with lyrics. You know, sometimes I'm paid to talk, and sometimes I get out of the way. You have been amazing. Thank you. Can't so get you to unpack one more song? Too proud to beg. Well, whenever I, I, I have the, to play by myself, maybe I'll use that because I tune down. Uh, my uh, repertoire immediately becomes limited to just what I said before. Just those songs that I could play. Um, so I tend to be in early songs. Uh, let's see. Well, maybe I'll do something I don't do usually. Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay, we'll come over here. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Town. Get your plane right on time I know your part will go fine Fly down to Mexico do 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 And here I am The only living boy in New York I get the news I need on the weather report Ah, I can gather all the news I need on the weather report Hey, I've got nothing to do today But smile, do 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 And here I am The only living boy in New York of the time we're gone but we don't know where we don't know where Tom get your plane right on time I know that you've been eager to fly now Hey let your honesty shine 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 now do 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 like it shines on me The only living boy in New York The only living boy in New Ah uh... 